days One day like this year will see me right For those curtains white One day like this year will see me right How's it going folks, this is Wayne Art, back with another lesson and an amazing song today, we've got Elbow on One Day Like This. Uh, I have done a tutorial for this uh, many years ago, so I wanted to do sort of an updated version with a few extra things in. Uh, absolutely amazing song and, you know, it means a lot to me, this was actually my wedding song as well. So we're, I think this is a great way to play it sort of acoustically, it's not too difficult. I'm uh, going to show you the little riff at the beginning as well, so we'll get onto that in a minute. If you do want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page. Uh, I'll put a little link to that in the description below. I'll also put a link in the comments if you want to go and check that out. And the way that works, you just subscribe for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you can afford, and you'll get access not only to this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past nine months so, to sort of coincide with the lessons. And one thing I will say, the funding from that really helps me, you know, carry on doing these lessons. I don't really make a lot of money from YouTube, so the patron thing is sort of keeping this afloat and it makes it all worthwhile. I don't want to stop doing this, obviously, um, you know, I absolutely love it and the comments I get from you guys are absolutely amazing. I'm glad I'm helping a lot of people out there. Uh, but it's very time consuming, so we're, Patreon is a way of sort of paying me, you know, to sort of do this. So uh, it's very, very much appreciated. Uh, thanks everyone who subscribed and continues to do so. A further way you could help me out if you have is hitting that little notification bell. And if you want to, you can go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne Our Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok, as you always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see for this version, you're gonna want the capo on the first fret, okay? So I'll just show you the intro if you want to put that in. You don't have to, but I think it really adds to the song and, uh, you know, makes it really cool. So we play an E chord, just a single strum. We play an open top E string. Four on the B string relative to the capo. An open B. We play a two on the B. And we play a one on the G. And then an open B again. So put that together, we've got the E chord. Open E. 4 on the B, 0 on the B, 2 on the B, 1, that's on the G, and then an open B string at the end. Okay, now the second time we do that, we play the same again. So instead of going to the open B string, we go to 2, that will be also on the G string from the 1. And then that takes us into the verse. Okay, so the verse starts off with an E chord. In the morning sun. Okay, now it's quite cool to do this in the verse. All we do, we're going to slide that E chord up. So I'm now on one, two, three, four, five, six. My first finger's on the sixth fret relative to capo. The two fingers are on the seventh fret. We play all the strings open so we get this lovely sounding chord, which I think is like an A add nine slash E. Okay, so that's your second chord. Uh, the third chord, we're just going to slide that chord up two frets again. So now we're on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fret with the first finger, nine with the two fingers. And then we slide that back down to the sixth and seventh fret and then we go back to the E chord. Okay, so I'm just going to sing that verse through so you can see how sliding those chords around are going to fit around that chord progression. That last chord, by the way, if you want the name for it, is a B add four slash E. Okay, so we're, I'll just sing that through. So we've got the first chord, which is an E. Thank you. 
Okay, so this little bridge part, we're going into sort of this power chord shape. So my first finger is now on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th fret on the A string. And my third finger is on the 9th fret on the D, relative to the capo, little pinky, 9th fret on the G. And the beauty with this chord, it's an E chord, where we can play all the strings open. You get this really fat sounding chord. So we're just doing down strokes on this, so we get this. Okay, so that all goes around again, that was the verse again. So when we go to the bridge part at the end of verse 2, what we actually do here, um, we stay on that chord and what I do to give it a bit more effect, I do sort of palm muting with that part of my palm lightly resting on the string so we meet there. So throw those curtains wide One day like this year will see me right Throw those curtains wide One day like this year will see me right And then we go into the outro which is an E A D chord And an A chord so we got this. On the D, so now I have to do this little embellishment lifting the second finger off. D sus2 back to the D. Little embellishment on the E, could add the little pinky on the second fret relative to the capo on the G, doing an E sus4 chord. So that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song. So that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Now I tend to mix it up a little bit as I go along. You know, we can add a lot of dynamics in this. Obviously the bridge part is mainly with down strokes. Okay, but the strumming pattern throughout the verse or the outro, we could do a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. So that would be a down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, so thanks very much for watching out you all dug that and uh, that's one of those songs I always say if you don't like that you don't like music I'm afraid uh, and you can't be my friend that is an amazing song like I say song that was played at my wedding not only my wedding and there was loads of people who were you know it's, this song means a lot to them uh, and I absolutely love playing it as well it works really well this way on an acoustic guitar so like I say hope you dug that if you've got any requests for any other you know not just elbow songs you can if you want but anything in general 50s to modern day it's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar within reason so the easiest way is to put a comment in the post below if you want to put a little request in or if you want to private message me through those social media um, platforms I suggested at the start of the video you're very welcome to I just always point out that I do get quite a lot of requests and I do have to hemp it a little bit but don't let that put you off please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going and it's very much appreciated another thing that's very much appreciated i'll just quickly mention it again if you are subscribed hitting that little notification bell so you get notified every time i post a video up obviously the patron thing that i've already mentioned and uh, i always say word of mouth is a powerful thing so if you if you dig what i do please like and share my videos tell your friends tell your work colleagues anyone you know plays the guitar please point them in my direction so that just leaves me to say have a great
great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.